Don? Uh, so DJ, the fact that you guys have gone down to the wire over time, so close in so many games, um, that can sometimes mentally break a team. But what is it about this team that it seems like it's kind of like a fire that's like molding you guys in a different way? How are you guys different from going through all these types of games? Uh, I just feel like we're fighters. You know what I'm saying? We till it comes down to the end. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna fight uh, to that to the last whistle blows. And I feel like just this team uh, lately. You know what I'm saying? We've been putting it together. You know what I'm saying? Finishing at the end. So. Um, that's just the biggest difference from the beginning of the season till now, you know what I'm saying? And going forward, we're going to continue to keep getting better, keep getting better. Dave, followed by Chris. Hey, DJ, I think uh, three of your next four opponents now have records that are below 500. Do you see this next stretch as as kind of another great opportunity for you guys to really start to solidify yourself and move up the standings in the North? Oh, yeah, definitely, you know what I'm saying? Every week is an opportunity to us, for us to, you know what I'm saying, showcase, you know, what we're all about. And I feel like these next couple of weeks is is, is, is going to be like one of those top, you know what I'm saying, pedestals for us to go out and compete against, you know what I'm saying, those teams and get these dubs. Um, hey, DJ, you guys uh, were have been kind of thin at defensive end. I mean, you lose Hunter, uh, Wetherly's traded, Willikis, uh was uh, out the last couple games. But then uh, Sheldon Richardson got some snaps uh, at defensive end yesterday. What kind of uh, new dimension you think he maybe uh, gave your defense there? Oh, yeah, definitely a lot of versatility. You know what I'm saying? He's a big guy uh, that can move really well like a defensive end. So just having him being able to play uh, inside and outside, you know, is a big boost and a big help for us up front. Yeah, and how much does that help you? Because you guys, you know, have lost some <laughs> Yeah, it helps us because, you know what I'm saying, we got guys that can do different things and do multiple things. So when, when his name is called to come play defensive end, he, he can come out and help us at end. And I can go outside. We all can rotate and play different positions up front. Lindsay, followed by Andrew. Uh, Chris took my question, but I'll go ahead and, and kind of, I guess, bounce off of that one. Um, have you been able to learn anything new, I guess, DJ from Sheldon, um, with him coming back to Minnesota this year, have there been any techniques or anything that he's been able to kind of pass along to help improve your game? Oh yeah, definitely. A hundred percent. You know, Sheldon is a, a big physical guy, but he's also athletic as well. And, you know, just him, his athleticism and different things that he can do, you know what I'm saying? As far as, you know what I'm saying, uh, working off the board rush or different things like that, he's, you know what I'm saying, helped me and instilled in my game. So just having him is a big help. Hey, DJ, obviously Green Bay threw a lot of misdirection at you guys and just all the window yeah. dressing and motions and stuff. As a defensive end, how does that challenge you um, in terms of just when there's so many options where the ball can go on a given play? Yeah, it just challenges us, you know what I'm saying, because we got to stay focused. We got to stay keyed in on our task, which is to get to the quarterback's feet, make him uncomfortable, uh, make him force the complete pass, you know what I'm saying? Just having those different things, just eye candy, you know what I'm saying, things that we can't, you know what I'm saying? let affect our rush and different things like that. So just, you know what I'm saying, having us at ends, being able to key in on our target and our goal is, is all that's really what's important for us. Do you think it can help you at all, having seen this now on Sunday, going, going into San Francisco, where they do a lot of similar stuff? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? It gives us a, a step forward of what we're, what we're going to see in the future and being able to prepare for it. Uh, DJ, this kind of is a piggyback off what Andrew was saying. I know that... Uh, um, Coach Dre was saying this week that, listen, when you see Rodgers, he lets the, he waits for the clock to get down before he snaps the ball, sometimes three or four seconds, because he wants to see everything. And uh, Dre was like, don't give away what we're doing, because he'll pick it off. What did you learn? What did you see in that like relationship with how, hold, how long he holds it until he makes the play and the snap? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? You got to have patience, and you got to be able to, you know what I'm saying, just just stay locked in, stay keyed in and on everything. You know, he, he loves to draw the, draw the defense off sides as well. So just being able to sit back and, and focus on the ball, focus on our key, focus on our man is just what was a big, you know what I'm saying, point going into this game. Craig? Pretty early in your week for getting ready for San Francisco, but uh, re reunite with Debo Samuel. He's He's been quite a, a challenge for, for a lot of different oh, yeah. reasons. Um, just curious about your thoughts about facing him and – the threats that he poses. Oh yeah, he's an electric player. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's a receiver and a 
kind of running back's body, so he can he's strong, he's physical, you know what I'm saying, and he can move. So just, you know what I'm saying, going into the week, you know what I'm saying, we're going to prepare for it and we're going to get ready for it. But, you know what I'm saying, he's definitely a great player.